Hello Facebook, YouTube, the day of Michael, the archangel, God is the one who is like unto God. Nope, not soul, quit worshiping false gods, everyone, and acknowledge them in the dates. But anyway, ah, what's on the night? Ah, Rosh Hashanah on tonight, the true new year. Not your false worship of false pagan goddess Janus in January uh, New Year, but the true New Year, you know, that God has established. That God has established is tonight. And nobody's excited. <laughs> Nobody got their apples and honey. Uh, I think I might get some apples and honey. Pretty much. Because, you know, hey. Get in the festivities of the new, true new year. But that's another message. But, you know, look, I mean, you know, oh, how false, how, how much lies of a person can, you know, take concerning believing a world system is the reason why nobody or only probably Jewish people in Certain Christians, certain Christians, are maybe celebrating Rosh Hashanah. Um, you know, it's just a, a, a true New Year, the Jewish true New Year, that I follow the Jewish calendar and not the false Roman calendar that just so happens to have holidays they put up there, that just so happens to have you worshiping pagan goddess and goddesses. Just so happens that, that the Roman uh, calendar, Greco-Roman calendar, have y'all worshiping gods and goddesses just for some apparent reason. I wonder what they're trying to do to have y'all follow this calendar. Anyway, topic of the message is very important. Uh, I'm going to talk about, you know, about, uh, it's important to understand um, 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, very important. When it talks about that, uh, that, that Paul is trying to talk about this wisdom, this great and powerful wisdom, that uh, pretty much so cool about it, it parallels to uh, Matthew 13 when Jesus talks about they have eyes but they don't see, they have ears but they don't hear, neither do they understand in their heart. But what God showed me the cool thing about of second, I mean, oh, sorry, First Corinthians two is talking about the manifestation. Paul is talking about the manifestation when you understand in your heart concerning of what Jesus Christ is talking about that is prophesied by my boy Isaiah concerning Isaiah six. You know about that they have eyes that they don't see, they have ears that they don't hear, neither do they understand in their heart. See how this working that God does this stuff. But um, it's important to understand what he said. Paul says this about this great wisdom here. He says that, it, it, you know, this wisdom that is so great, I'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing, that that if Satan, say, if Satan, the, if the prince of this world had this wisdom, he will never crucify the Lord. He will never, well, I'm par I know this it doesn't say this is exactly in the Bible, but read it. It's talking about if, you know, Satan had this wisdom, he would never uh, um, crucify Jesus Christ. Now, what is important about to understand that? Mm, if he never, if, 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 G, if Satan had this wisdom, you know what I'm saying? He would never uh, crucify Christ. What's important about that? Well, when you learn about the ideal of the kingdom of heaven from a heaven perspective, you will know about this. Now, here's the thing what I need to teach y'all. Okay, let me see. Uh, I'll topic this message later because I um, want to pick a, 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 night, a, bit, a, a, a topic that's going to understand. Let me see. Uh, let me see. The reality of the, I guess, the spiritual light view and the spiritual dark view. The spiritual light view and the spiritual dark view. 
um, of things. And the thing is, that's what you need to understand. Now, I discovered, you know, uh, how Satan is going about doing what he's doing concerning the deception of men and how he's continually uh, deceiving men. Of course, is not really complicated. It's just that he is utilizing the system of God and putting it in darkness. That's the simple thing. He's using God's uh, more likely blueprint of how he established things and using it against us. See, because that's what, you know, you got to understand what Satan means. It means our adversary. He's using God's system and putting a dark twist to it and using it against us. And that's important to understand that. But it's important to understand that he's using God's system. Because here's the thing about what uh, Paul is saying in 1 Corinthians 2. That if he knew, if he had this wisdom, he will not crucify Christ. Because if he knew that he, that, see, let me, yeah, let me show you what God did to uh, humiliate Satan. The idea of what you got to understand about the uh, crucifixion and concerning the prophecy that Isaiah said about to Jesus that he shall be put, you know, uh, the government shall be upon his shoulder. More likely that parallel the Roman government shall be upon his shoulder that the Roman government will, you know, pretty much uh, uh, the Roman system that Satan is going to use to uh, crucify and kill Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying, is what, you know, is, is, is going to be on the Messiah, more likely, is what Isaiah is saying. Now, uh, he, he's the, that, you know, and what's going to happen is that what you don't, in the darkness, how Satan, oh yeah, let me, yeah, thank you, God, get this thing in order. Matthew 4. Matthew 4 is very important to understand this uh, chapter concerning uh, the dark view and the light view. And of course, the, you know, darkness, Satan is saying that, you know, it is written. You know what I'm saying? See, Satan saying it is written according to God's word. So therefore, Satan understands God's word because Satan is using God's same pattern in him establishing his kingdom of darkness. That's why he's using it is written, you know, I hope you got it. Um, so Jesus, of course, Satan says, da, 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 it is written. And Jesus said, it is written. You know, man shall live by bread alone, but by every word preceded by God. You know, you know, you know, the confrontation and stuff like that. And now watch this. That what you don't understand that if you did your research on the, so I was talking about those pagan holidays uh, concerning Christmas. Uh, Christmas is about, of course, a celebration of the pagan, uh, the pagan uh, sun god Mithra, him, and in more uh, false, false gods that you know, people that did their research know about those false gods, Horus and Tammuz and Timus and all kind of people that mimic. Jesus Christ, that mimic Jesus Christ, see, uh, mimic everything that Jesus Christ did. Now, the reason why they mimic what Jesus Christ did is what you got to understand that Satan, a.k.a. once was Lucifer, was the architect of the universe. And being the architect of the universe, he knows the stars, you know, he knows the stars and he knows the stars is uh, he understands the stars and he sees the stars and he can uh, look at the stars and, and God has his plan in the heavens and he sees the plan in the heavens and what Satan does he will make his plan uh, he, he will make his plan like I said take God's blueprint and utilize his plan to create his uh, uh, back or more likely his bad guys, you know, uh, Horace and all those people, Tim Moose, and there's a lot of them he made, <laughs> a lot, and he, all through history, before Christ, this was uh, before Christ, you know, came on the scene, 
Now, what happened is that God told me it's so hilarious. Um, now, what happened was Satan was busy making so many of these guys that uh, perceived, was before Christ, you know, came on the earth. Of uh, these, you know, went through the same idea of Jesus Christ did was rose from the dead and da 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 and is now worship, you know, on Christmas, you know. Uh and and the thing is, and he been doing this, but what happened was that you gotta understand about spiritual darkness is when you continually do spiritual darkness, what happens is you get more, you can't see, you know what I'm saying? You you get more blind. You know what I'm saying? When you participate in spiritual darkness, you get more blind. Of course, that should make sense. But what happened was because Satan was doing all these, you know, making these, you know, false crises. Yeah, that's what they call false crises. All through history and utilizing crises, uh, the, the stars as, you know, uh, to make his, you know, uh, false Christ system. He been using these gods, and what happened was he was doing it so much that he became so blind that when Jesus came on the scene, you know, he didn't know he couldn't tell if that was the false Christ or the real Christ. <laughs> he couldn't tell. But the thing is, but 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 Jesus, you know, was showing them scripture and everything and telling the light view, the light version. He said, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word we see that mother. And Satan's like, what? Huh? What? What's wrong with this guy? He's like, he's puzzled about this guy. Like, what? What is this guy doing? You know what I'm saying? You know, what is he talking about? Or more and then more like it's like, oh, this guy, you know, this guy must be the son of God. Oh, if, and he's like, oh, this guy must be the son of God. So if this is the son of God, I got to get rid of this guy. You know what I'm saying? And what happened was, what God planned it, that Satan, he used the same hatred, the same hatred that Lucifer developed in heaven to rebel against God and to get revenge on God. He used that, God used that same hatred for Satan concerning his system of Rome, Roman system to crucify Jesus Christ to, to make Jesus to use this system to crucify Jesus Christ to create humanity salvation <laughs> ah, people of the light will laugh at this situation people of darkness was like huh what you talking about man well the thing is see Satan sees from a dark view and you see, from, I mean, God sees from, and Jesus sees from the light view. Now, watch this. I, I you know, if people that study these um, uh, movies and all these kind of stuff, and and what's going on in the, uh, you know, in the second uh, the world system, that they got these movies that they, you know, portray things that end up happening very soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, see, the thing is, they get that idea, of course, from Satan. They portray, see, Satan has an idea of what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? He has an idea. And what happened is, a Satan, from Satan's viewpoint, he's interpreting things from his ideal spectrum. You know? And he thinks, oh, this is going to Oh, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. You know, kind of like, you know, you been to that, know about the Denver airport and they got all these drawings and all these crazy stuff and uh, drawings in there. And they, he tells his, uh, I guess, uh, Freemasons and Illuminati, all this stuff. And hit from the dark view and said, this is going to happen like this. And everybody like, oh, no. And all of a sudden, a light version comes, you know, that wisdom that Paul talking about here, the light version comes to say, wait, whoa, 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 what's, what's going on here? What's going on? That's uh, what, what I saw in the stars. But the divine plan of God comes along and all of a sudden, what? I didn't know this was going to happen. What happened here? Boom, and be Satan and humiliate him more and more. And that's what's really going to happen very soon in these blood moon tetra 
last one with Tetra, that the humiliation of Satan. So I hope you get ready for it and enjoy it. That's the message, y'all. To God be the glory and forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.